Sights and Sounds of the Seasons is brought to you by the Terwilliger Nature Education Legacy. Well, here it is, kids, our new home in California, where the sun's supposed to shine all the time. Doesn't it ever get cold and snow? Don't you ski or throw snowballs or anything? Sorry, here on the California coast, the weather stays pretty much the same all year round. Ah, uh, shucks. Excuse me, pardon me. Looking all around me and singing a happy tune. Looking at all my eyes can show me on a sunny afternoon. Listen to everything around me and singing a happy tune. Listening to all my ears can tell me on a sunny afternoon. I use my eyes, my nose, my ears, my tongue, and my fingers, everyone. Cause when I look and smell and hear and taste and touch, I find learning can be fun. I'm eating everything living around me and singing a happy tune. It's a song about the sights and the sounds of the season Written for me and for you It's a song about the sights and the sounds of the seasons Written for me and for you Your hands are for touching Your nose is for smelling Your tongue is for tasting Your ears are for hearing And eyes are for seeing Miss Twilliger, Lawrence and Lydia <laughs> Hello Lawrence, how are you? Hi Hello Lenny I'm glad you came to California I heard you talking about the seasons. In the East, you have four sharp seasons, and we do have four seasons here in California, but they don't occur all in the same place. Now look at this tree in front of us. What color do you see? Green. All right, then this tells us it's summertime. Now let's make some magic. Everybody go push. Whoosh! Oh, look what's happened. There aren't any leaves left on the tree. What time of year will that be? Winter. Winter. Everybody, let's go. Whoosh. Whoosh. <gasps> look at the flowers. Oh, and that tells us spring. it's spring. Everybody go. Whoosh. Whoosh. Then it's summer. One more whoosh, whoosh, whoosh! And look, the apples are all over the tree and they're ripe and ready to eat. And this is what happens to all our fruit trees and that's how we tell about the season. Whoosh! Say. It's a song about the sights and the sounds of the season written for me and for you. It's a song about the sights and the sounds of the season written for me and for you. In the spring, when it's warmer, that is when the goats and the cows and the horses and the sheep have their babies. What are baby pigs called? They're called piglets. <laughs> What are baby cows called? Calves. What are baby sheep called? Lambs. What are baby goats called? Kids. Oh, look. Some bird eggs. Do you know whose eggs these are? These are Mrs. Kildare's eggs. She tries to protect them by pretending she is hurt, and she hopes people will follow and leave them alone. The birds have babies, too, in the early spring. It's cold sometimes, so the babies keep warm among the mother's feathers. This bird is called a coot. It's a song about the sights and the sounds of the season Written for me and for you It's a song about the sights and the sounds of the seasons Written for me and for you A 
Up in the mountains in the spring, the snow is melting and bringing water to the rest of California. Do you know what we use the water for? To drink, to grow plants. To grow plants. So in the spring, the farmers in California plant all the thousands of acres of farmland with seeds so they can grow our food. The seeds use the water from the mountains. With the help of the sun, they grow. Whoosh, summer. You don't have to have a very big yard to grow fruits and vegetables. String beans and peas, carrots, beets. August and September are the times of year when these things are ripe and you can go out and pick them. The corn starts out little and it gets bigger and bigger and bigger. And when then the green tassel gets all brown like this, this is when you can pick it. Help me break it up gently. Pull, that's right. Peel the top part. Now. Well, I think it's really neat because it's kind of and it's all hairy and white. Here. Let's break it in half and each of you take a bite. Bite where the yellow ones are, bite the white ones. They're both good. Tastes good? Yeah. Moist? Yeah. Need some butter and salt on it? Yeah. <laughs> Here are some new potatoes just coming up. And look who's coming for lunch. And here's a potato plant that says, well, my leaves are all brown, and this is the time to dig me. And here is a little fork to dig the sand with. And if we push it down in the ground, maybe we'll find a potato. There's a potato right now. Look, there's a potato. And you can pick it up with your hand. Brush the sand off. Brush the sand off. And there's another one. And another one. Did you ever bite into a potato you just picked out of the ground? How does yeah. it taste? Um, kind of sour and watery. Tomatoes come in all different sizes. Some are vines. Look how tall this one is growing. And can you see the little yellow blossoms up there? Now see if you can find some tiny little green tomatoes. And what color is it turning? This is how the sunflower looks in spring, just after the seeds have been planted in the ground. And look how big they have grown. Every summer in June, July, and August, the fog comes in from the ocean, and it's the fog that keeps things cool. But in the summer, because there is no rain here along the coast, most grasses turn dry and become brown. But you know what you can find in the dry grass? Grasshoppers. Right, grasshoppers, thousands of grasshoppers. Whoosh! Fall. The farmers like a kind of dry grass, but they call it hay, and they use it to feed their animals with. It's a song of 
about the sights and the sounds of the season written for me and for you. It's a song about the sights and the sounds of the seasons written for me and for you. Up in the mountains, called the Sierra, the trees change colors just like back east in New England. That's because it's colder up in the mountains. We have maple trees, oak trees, and beautiful dogwood trees. Now in the autumn, the leaves fall from some of the trees and dry out. Not all trees change color and have the leaves fall off. These kinds of trees are called evergreen because they are forever green. Now look at all the different kinds of bark. Some bark even looks like a jigsaw puzzle. He's trying to put the tree back together. Winter. winter is coming to California. Up in the mountains, the clouds full of water start to form. Up here where it's cold, the water becomes snow, and the weather becomes very, very cold. Lower down in the valleys, near the coast, it's warmer, so the water in the clouds doesn't become snow, and so we usually get lots of rain in the winter. Why did you move to California? Because we bought a new house. Oh, you left the four seasons back in the east. We don't have them quite that sharply here, but we do have migrations. Just like you migrated from the eastern part of our country to the west, like people move, birds and animals move too, because you know what happens in the wintertime here? The herring fish come in and lay their eggs. See all the seagulls way out there? They have come in to eat the herring eggs. Fishing boats go out and get them, get the herring, and a lot of people salt the herring down, and they love to eat salt herring after you've washed all the salt off. It's called pickled herring, and it's very delicious. And then you know who else comes in that migrates? The salmon come up from the ocean into our streams. And when they come up into our streams, they die, but Mother Nature has a plan. Nothing is wasted because as they die, along comes Mr. Raccoon and Mr. Mrs. Raccoon and Mr. Fox and Mr. Badger and Mr. Weasel, and they have some salmon for lunch. And then when the eggs hatch into little salmon, they stay here for one year and then they migrate out to the ocean. Now hold up four fingers because they're gone for four years, and then they come back right to the place where they were born. And then the ducks come down from the north because they say it's warmer down here. Let's come down and spend the winter. And that's why all the ducks are down on the, on the water. Do you know what happens every year right here on our west coast? The whales come down from Alaska and they go all the way down to Baja, California to have their babies. Over there, look, two whales. Listen, what's that I hear? 
look now It certainly seems quite clear Looks like Looks like a season change is near Talking To the birds up in the sky Will you be staying long? No, we're only just passing by and singing Looks like Looks like a season change is near Got to keep on moving Following the sun Guided by a feeling Leading us one by one Across the raging sea A voice on the wind is calling me A voice on the wind is calling me A voice on the wind is calling me What are you doing? What are you, what are you looking at? We're looking at the geese. This is the time of year that the migrating waterfowl come down from the north to spend the winter, and they look for ponds and lakes just like this because they know that they are safe. Oh, everybody paint this guy all pink, and it's early in the morning. Look, they're flying, coming away from the fields, back to land. Look across the pond. Look at all the Canada geese that are there. They go out and feed all night and they say, look at that nice lake. Why don't we spend the day here? Make a V formation with your hand because this is how they fly. And listen, look up. Here comes a goose that is smaller than the Canada goose and it's all white. Paint your bills all pink and paint your legs all pink and your body all white and put some black on the tips of your wings. Watch them fly. Those are snow geese. They look just like the snow. Now look over there. There's another bird that's all gray and has a long gray neck and long leg. That is a sandhill crane. Oh, that loudest sound that we're hearing, that's Mr. Mallard. Nobody makes as much noise as Mr. Mallard. Now put brown speckles all over you. Then you are the lady. Oh, wait, I see somebody else. It's all white. Paint yourselves completely white and paint your bill black. That's a whistling swan. Look, they play follow the leader. Their necks are very long. These birds are just here for the winter. They go back up north in the spring to build their nests and raise their babies. And then when it's Winter time beginning to come. They fly right back down here. Because one of the important things is that we save many places around our land for the birds to come down. Now this is what is called the Pacific Flyway. And every year since the beginning of time, all these ducks and geese and the sandhill cranes know that this is where they will come to be warm enough for the winter. Wake up. The night is gone and I'm bringing you a brand new day. Rain or shine, snow or hail, summer calm or winter gale. Wake up, open your eyes and listen to what I say. Up, up in the sky. Far, far as the eye can 
For more information, visit our website, www.terwilligerfilms.org.